Welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Tel Elmir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Under royal directives, Jordan sends a medical aid plane to Lebanon. The Catholic Church holds a special prayer in celebration of the construction of a new shrine in Webde. Sisters Nadine Shaban and Hanadi Juri declare their permanent vows in the Rosary Congregation. We also have Archbishop José Fijbara sponsors the launching ceremony of the first camp of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Scouts and Guides. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teaching, His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world in St. Paul VI Hall, where His Holiness contemplated and said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking faithful wish to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor <laughs> of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. The Holy Father will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to all children and young people, the elderly and the sick. His Holiness also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on the letter to the Galatians, we have seen how St. Paul teaches that faith in Jesus Christ brings a spiritual freedom that liberates believers from the demands of the Mosaic law. For the apostle, the law served a pedagogical function. As a merciful gift of God, it demanded obedience to his commandments while at the same time pointing to the reality of our sinfulness and need for salvation. With the coming of Christ and his redeeming grace, the law finds its fulfillment in the gospel message of new life and freedom in the spirit. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Abdullah II, the Jordanian Hashemite Charitable Organization sent an aid plane to the brotherly Lebanese people, and the plane was carrying medical supplies for the military hospital in Beirut. The Secretary General of the Authority, Hussein Al Shibli, said that contacts have been made with the Lebanese authorities to ensure the delivery of aid to those affected by the explosion that occurred in Al Aqqar region. Since the outbreak of the Beirut port crisis, the Jordanian Hashmi Charitable Organization has sent five planes in which the assistance varied from relief materials, generators, medicines, medical, and food materials. His Beatitude Patriarch Pizzabella inaugurated the Bridges Project in Amman. His Beatitude also blessed the House of the Sacred Heart. At the beginning of the celebration, the pastor of St. Joseph Church in Jabal Amman, Father Musam Mansour, welcomed his Beatitude and the attendees. Then Patriarch Pizzabella delivered a speech in which he indicated that the Christian community in Jordan played an important role in education, cultural upbringing, and medical and social care, as well as involving every person in their activities and projects, regardless of their social or religious affiliation. During the ceremony, which was attended by a number of ambassadors, priests, and parishioners, and the Iraqi brothers participating in charitable initiatives, many words were delivered praising this blessed work on the land of Jordan. Iraqi President Barham Saleh affirmed that the Christians of Iraq and the Christians of the East are an authentic component of the region. They stood by their brothers from all sects to face various challenges, and their historical and civilization contributions were profound and deeply rooted. During his meeting with the Shaldin Patriarch in Iraq, Cardinal Mark Sacco, and a number of bishops, he pointed out that the East cannot be imagined without Christians pointing out that the visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to Iraq represented a deep humanitarian message of solidarity for a country that has suffered from violence and conflicts. For his part, Cardinal Sacco expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Iraqi president for his follow-up and continuous support for Christians and for his role as well in establishing social coexistence among all components of the Iraqi people. In the midst of songs of praise and invocation, the celebration of the Mother of the Churches in Amman this year came on the occasion of the Assumption of the Mother of the Believers, the Virgin, Mother of God, with soul and body to heaven. The believers met and their love for the Mother of the Savior overflowed. The prayers of the worshippers were raised so that the Virgin Lady preserved their first church 
and that the Lord God protects their homeland Jordan from epidemic and calamity. The prayer was presided over by Father Nabil Haddad, pastor of the church, with the participation of the members of the Pastoral Council, the Fraternity of the Mother of Churches and a crowd of worshippers. After the prayer, everyone led by the icon of the Virgin Mary headed to the courtyard of the Pope Francis Center for Culture and Dialogue, where Father Haddad established the rite of blessing the site schedule for the construction of the Shrine of Our Lady, Mother of Churches. The Holy Rosary Congregation in Jordan celebrated the renewal of the perpetual monastic vows of the two sisters, Nadine Shaban and Hanadi Juri. This came during the festive mass presided over by the Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan, Bishop William Shomili, in the Church of the House of Visit in the Buk area in Amman. In the presence of Mother Sophie Hattar, the general head of the monastic order, members of the council and the number of priests, sisters and a group of believers. And after the proclamation of the Holy Gospel, Sister Ghada Na'meh, responsible for the formation in the monasticism, called on the two sisters who expressed before the altar of the Lord their desire to follow the Christ forever. Before the communion, the sister Teresa Karak, Arant Hamarne, Mary Mu'awad, and Angela Bshara renewed their provisional vows. At the end of the liturgy, Sister Nadine Shaban gave a speech in which she thanked Archbishop Shomali for presiding over the festive liturgy. She also thanked all those who contributed to preparing and reviving the joyful celebration. Dr. Basim al -Sam'an, the Regional Director of Nursat Satellite Channel in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, visited the American University in Madaba, during which she met the President of the University, Professor Ma'moun Nadim Akrush, and congratulated him on his appointment by the Higher Education Council as President of the University. During the meeting, Dr. Sam'an expressed her confidence in Dr. al Akrush's administrative and academic competence, which qualified him to gain the confidence of the council and appoint him to his high position. At the same time, she praised the American University, which in a short period of time became a scientific beacon, providing Jordan with the competencies that serve the local community in particular and the external community in general. For his part, the president of the university, Dr. al Akrush, welcomed Dr. Bissam'an and briefed her on the educational reality at the American University which originally belongs to the Latin Patriarchate and the disciplines in which she is taught and the general academic level of the university. Archbishop Josef Jbara, head of Archdiocese of Petra, Philadelphia and the rest of East Jordan, sponsored the launching ceremony of the first camp of Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Scouts and Guides in St. George's Al-Umm Summa Cathedral, which was held on the airport road in Amman. The ceremony was attended by the parish priest Archmandrite Bassam Shahatit and Dr. Basim al -Sam'an, the regional director of Nursat and the general leader of the group Tariq Musallam. The celebration included scouting and awareness lectures and various activities to build team spirit among individuals and live the experience of scouting life. On the other hand, the General Authority for Scouts and Guides of the Latin Diocese held a training camp for a group of scouts and guides in SALT, with the participation of 20 leaders from the group. This is within the plan of the General Authority to open new scout groups within the parishes of the diocese in the Kingdom. The camp included a series of lectures, training sessions and workshops aimed at enabling the group to practice its scouting activity. The official in charge of the corona file in Palestine, Dr. Wissam Sbehat, confirmed that there is a societal spread of the Delta mutation in the Palestinian governorates, and that more than 70% of the diagnosed cases are infected with this mutation. Sbehat said that the fourth wave of the spread of the coronavirus may have started in all Palestinian cities, and indicated that the infection numbers do not reflect the epidemiological situation in its true form, because of the reluctance of some citizens to conduct tests. Sbehat stressed the need to take the vaccine to limit the spread of the virus with all its mutations, stressing that until the moment there is no recommendation to close, but this depends on the state of the epidemiological situation in the governorates. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Under royal directives, Jordan sends a medical aid plane to Lebanon. The Catholic Church holds a special prayer in celebration of the construction of a new shrine in Wave Day. Sisters Nadine Shaban and Hanadi Juri declare their permanent vows in the Rosary Congregation. 
Archbishop Joseph Shibata sponsored the launching ceremony of the first camp of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Scouts and Guides. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.